Hi, and welcome to the Washington Report. I'm Dan Gratton, here to bring you a look at what's happening in our nation's capital. Last Tuesday, the NBA responded to a request for information from the FHFA. This was regarding changes to pooling practices of uniform mortgage-backed securities. Our letter strongly urged the FHFA not to enact certain changes that would negatively affect market liquidity. NBA will continue to encourage FHFA to have a more targeted approach to regulations, certainly those affecting prepayment speeds. Earlier this month, five members of the House of Representatives, led by Financial Services Committee Chairwoman Maxine Waters, sent a letter to the Government Accountability Office requesting a study on how to expand data sources used in loan underwriting processes. This letter is just the latest in the Chairwoman's ongoing efforts to improve access to credit for borrowers, such as young home buyers. And don't forget to join the MBA in the Big Easy, February 3rd through the 6th, as we hold our annual Independent Mortgage Bankers Conference in New Orleans. We hope to see you there. So that's it for this week, and now you're up to speed on what's happening here in Washington.